The Immortal John Hancock here with a contest winner uh, announcement for my copy of Game Panic 2 as well as talking today about why it's important to get a tube TV for your retro collection now. And so first of all I'm happy to announce, let's see if I can get the name right here, uh, Derek Schenolzer. Uh, Derek, you won Game Panic 2 for both the Sega CD and the Sega Genesis. And again, there's only 40 copies of these, and so one of the 40 copies a piece is going to you for free. And I I contacted you via email. You emailed me right back. So congrats. And for other people that are still interested, I do have some copies left of Game Panic 2 for both the Sega CD and the Sega Genesis. The Sega Genesis one is 40 bucks plus shipping, and the Sega CD one is 25 dollars plus shipping. And so, just an announcement for that. I also want to say a thank you to Fadi, of, and he helps run a uh, place for gamers. And you know what? how awesome he is? He sent me Ultima the Black Gate for my Super Nintendo collection. I am down to less than six for my set. And so for people that are, uh, he sent that to me for free. That's awesome. Super excited about that. So, the main reason we're talking today is that you need to get a tube TV for your collection now. And before I before I uh, go into that, I would like to show you uh, recently the TV I, I scored for, for $12.99. And uh, let's check it out. This is a 1985 Magnavox. It's a 14 inch screen. It came with, that's right, the original remote pretty cool it still has the original uh, film on the front of it I didn't take it off looks like somebody kept it on but wore through it <laughs> right there pretty sweet so yeah here it is great condition I scored this at a um, recent Goodwill I'm not a big Goodwill fan but for TVs they are a must go to and uh, in the front here the panel here let's see here great about this one is it's got the settings right there you can adjust yeah I did want to show the back of the TV and it does have simple AV jacks now if you're picking out a CRT you may want to um, pick a different uh, type of TV that has more inputs like S video or component for what I'm using for this TV again it was made in 85 uh, I don't need anything more than uh, simple uh, coaxial and uh, AV jacks. So anyways, I just wanted to show the sweet little TV I got, complete with remote. Heck, it even had uh, the antenna still attached to it. Pretty sweet. Alright, back to the meat of our conversation today of why it's important to get a tube TV now. Now this is going to be a... a uh, you know just a basic conversation I'm not going to get all technical because you don't need to be uh, about why it's important to get a tube TV I think the, the, the main reason right now that I'm telling all my re fans retro gamers and collectors to get a tube TV now for your collection is that they're cheap you can still find these I got again I got this TV this TV right here sweet TV too um, I had one a little bit bigger than this this one in a year earlier growing up. I think I had an 84 Magnavox 19 inch uh, TV. Uh, they're cheap. This was 12 bucks. Um, it's worth getting if, if, if you can store it. Um, the, it's, it's also important to know that it is cheaper to take your unmodified console and play it on a CRT than spending you know I would say 50 to 100 dollars per console to, to, to modify it to work on a newer TV. I think it's just better to play it on a standard CRT TV and, and again it looks great. Uh, the other thing is these types of TVs, these tube TVs also called CRTs, uh, cathode ray tube is what CRT stand for and um, they were made for your classic consoles. So playing everything from your N64 uh, your Atari 2600, your classic Nintendo, Super Nintendo, it's going to look brilliant on these. And um, the other thing that is important to know is that 
the uh, aspect ratio of a CRT is going to match an old console. It's in a 4-3 aspect ratio. It's a, it's a square, and it's gonna it's gonna look awesome. And so you're not gonna have the black bars on the side when you game. Um, again, it's gonna look great. Uh, glorious picture. You know, I hooked up an Atari 2600 to this TV yesterday. Not modified. Just just standard standard RF. And it looked awesome. It was just, it was great. Um, I think it's important to know that uh, classic TVs look awesome. I mean, they just, they ooze retro. And, you know, you can get ones with wood grain. Uh, this one's more of an 80s, like, silver, black, and gray kind of theme. Um, it's important to know that, that, that they can really, really match a classic game room. And they look really cool. Um, I try to have some classic TVs in my collection. Again, uh, I'm making a playroom, and I definitely will have, and I'll have both. I will have a, a modern TV for, for consoles that were made for that, but I'm also going to have a couple classic TVs for my older consoles. And I look forward to playing my, my 2600 on a classic TV. Um, I think it's also important to know that uh, when you're picking out a classic TV, do not go large. I, I don't recommend getting a big, hulking CRT. They're hard on your back, they're hard to move, and they're almost impossible to get rid of. Um, you know, if you end up wanting to get rid of your, your, um, your CRT, uh, the smaller ones are easier, and they fit in game rooms better. And so I, I choose a 13 to 15 inch is kind of my preference. Uh, the smaller TVs make make it make an image look really great. Um, I know that they made uh, CRTs up to like the mid 2000s, and uh, some of those late release TVs look really great. Um, uh, but if you want to go for like a classic, more classic look, I would pick a you know late 70s, mid 80s TV, or even if you're going for a 90s stream room, though those TVs are uh, aren't as aren't as pretty. <laughs> so. There's a couple other things that I also would like to add to our discussion about getting a, a CRT. And, and the one thing I would like to add is that if you're going to hook it up an old school like the Pong unit, 2600 or, or, or something before uh, AV cables, you need to get one of these. Yep, yep, it's a female to male adapter and it just plugs into the back of the TV. And, and, and these are going to be better than whatever it came with. And you can get these off eBay. They're pretty cheap. You can even go uh, if, I don't even know if, uh, I want to say Radio Shack, but many of those are no longer around. So eBay is probably the best place for that. For that. Um, another little trick, uh, if, if you can see there, is rolling up the cables of, of your TV or console cord. You can actually use... Um, a toilet paper roll or, or, or a paper towel roll um, <clears throat> you can cut those in half and you can get two out of them um, the really a nice easy way of, of keeping um, your, your cables uh, rolled up and uh, without having to tie them or anything it's just a that's what I pretty much prefer to use um, so comment below uh, do you have a CRT TV um, what model is it? I'd love to hear back about, um, you know, hearing from, from people what they, what they use for their classic gaming uh, setups. Uh, again, uh, I, I think now is the time. I don't wait. Uh, there's going to be uh, a, a time and place for uh, getting these TVs, and, and eventually you're not going to find them. They haven't been made in quite a while, and it's just going to get harder over time. Um, this is, uh, this is definitely uh, what I feel. Uh, so I grew up with these. And so I grew up with two TVs. If you didn't grow up with two TVs, you may have a different opinion of how they look or the gaming on it. But for anybody, I would say, uh, you know, 30 years old or older, um, you definitely, definitely is going to remember uh, playing on this as a kid and, uh, and loving it. So thank you so much. I Hopefully, hopefully this... Uh, this casual conversation about tube TVs was helpful. Uh, this is the immortal John Hancock signing out.